Well, they say beauty is only skin deep, but tell that to the dogs of Westminster, where the grooming can make or break a champion. Competition grooming is completely different from everyday grooming. Each breed requires grooming that showcases the original intended traits of that breed, while downplaying any flaws. You hydrature the whole body with bluing shampoo, it's like a whitening shampoo. And then uh, after that we only use high force dryers and then a stand dryer to finish him. And then we use the process of line combing to do his whole body and it's all natural, no trimming except for the feet. That two to three hour process is nothing compared to the 48 hours it takes for a breed like the Commodore. Well, the one thing I do want to let you know though, after that two hour bath, this dog in particular is a 48 hour dry. So she is under a stand dryer, a cage dryer, a canine and two box fans. And it takes about 48. I washed her Sunday for today. And that doesn't even include the monthly upkeep for dreadlocks. And it's a controlled matting. As you can see right here, this is a perfect opportunity. You see how this is like a month and a half worth of growing. So it blends together. How I split it is go right that right down to the skin. And that's how each and every one of these is formed. And, and that doesn't hurt her? No, it does not. Actually, it's better for her because air is able to go right into the skin. Now, not all breeds take as much time to be show ready, but still require a lot of skill, like the Bichon Frise. Well, they're a double-coated uh, breed, and they do not shed. So, of course, that always means that you have to do a little extra brushing because their coats will mat. So you do have to do a little work. They do take work, guys. <laughs> What does Mr. E think about this kind of a setup and, and, and doing shows like today? Well, he has a good time, but he really would rather be home on the couch. <laughs> he is a couch potato. See, just like all the other babies out there, when it comes down to it, Mr. E and all the other grand champions are couch potatoes. And we found some couch potatoes that simply don't need any extra work to look perfect. This really is what we tend to call a wash and wear dog. Um, this dog runs in a yard. There's nothing special um, that this dog gets other than uh, a good shampoo and a cream rinse and you blow out the hair. We have minimal trimming um, to do on the dog. So it's not like you have to have you know, all this frou-frou and expensive work done. Um, you can do this yourself at home. Just treat your own hair the same way you want to treat the dog's hair. Now, do you do humans also, Mark, or just canines? Well, you know, I can, I can do a lot with a pin brush. <laughs> There we go. How's that? Am I best in show yet? I think so. Certainly. <laughs> well, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. For Pet Pals TV at Westminster, I'm Buffy Pine.